Hey guys, Sports Media here with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a horror game. This tutorial will probably have a couple of parts, because, you know. This tutorial will teach you how to make a, um, pretty much many jump scares, notes, stuff like that. Nothing too hard, but it's definitely, definitely going to be a very useful tutorial. So let's go ahead and open up Unity. Uh, where is there? All right. So first, what we want to make is our room. So let's create a fast cube. Size it down. Make it a square. Now we got this nice cube. But we kind of need some textures for it. So um, we kind of got here and got this texture. You can get any texture you want. This is going to be like a haunted warehouse game. So uh, change styling. You can just edit it here and here. I would recommend changing the offset because, you know, uh, Sometimes it will look really bad, so I just change the the tiling. All right, so to make the walls, you don't have to create a, uh, a whole new cube. You can just click, click, do Control or Command D. Now, as you can see, you have two cubes, which means that you duplicated the cube. You can click W on your um, keyboard. Which will bring up the this moving mode, or and um, you want to bring this up. You want to click E for the rotational mode, and in X rotation, you want to write 90. That will set it to 90 degrees. You can scale it down by, by pressing R on your keyboard. And then we're going to bring it to the side by pressing W again. This is a wall, but we don't want, you know, the same repetitive wall over and over again. So I got a wall texture. Now, we don't want too much of this wall stuff, so we'll just go one. What this means is that this is going to repeat left to right ten times, and up and down is going to be repeating once. So we don't want it to repeat 10 times, we want it to repeat, let's say, 4 times, like that. Oh, that's better. Now, we, don't, we want to do the same thing for this wall, but we don't have to duplicate this whole brand new cube and do all the stuff with it. We can just click on this cube, Control D, move the little blue arrow to the side until it hits the, the ground point right there. There you go. The problem is this that this is um, upside down. So we're going to try to rotate this and bring the y axis to 90. Actually, no, 180. So now it's perfectly in place. And nobody can really see this side of the wall because the player is going to be inside here. So. So yeah, all right. We want to do the same thing for this wall, and this wall is gonna have a door. That's a whole new story. So duplicate this again. Bring this to the middle. Click E for rotational mode. Turn this around to minus ninety. Bring this to the end. Make sure this has no holes in it or anything. Alright, that looks good. Now this is how it's gonna look when um when you actually start the game. So what we wanna do is first we're gonna make this less repetitive. And let's see. 
we do five by two. No, five by three. There. Five by three. To match the floor a little bit. Like that. So it kind of matches. Well, it doesn't matter really, but all right. So now I want to add a light. But first of all, let's rename all those things. And for a quick renaming, you can just press, press F2 on your keyboard. Wall 1, wall 2, back wall. Now what I like to do is like to create a new object and call this level design. Put all of these guys in here. Sorry. Hey, isolated. Never do isolated. If you have it like this. Just click on this. The little square in the middle to get the perspective view. Alright, so now I want to add a light. Click add. And it depends on what you want to add. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of spotlights. So let's bring it up. Let's kind of center it. Scale it up. We don't want to make it too bright. We just want to have some atmosphere. Now, for horror games, everything is usually really dark. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Edit, uh, Render Settings, Ambition Light, click. We want to make it dark, but we want to leave just a little bit of that light there. All right, now we got our first room. Um, we also want to make the ceiling, so for that, you can just duplicate this, bring it up like that. And we got our first room. For now, let's uh, turn the ceiling off. We don't need it just just yet. Um, and let's turn this mode off so we can actually see it like that. Let's check the time. Now we still have a lot of time. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to add the player and the flashlight. So, for player, you have to go right click on our project, import package, click on character controllers, and you're going to click import. Since I've already imported the package, it's going to be in standard assets, character controllers, and make sure it's first person. So, we're going to drag our first person. Oh, sorry guys. That's the wrong one. Drag our first person controller, which is this random sphere. Make it a little smaller. Alright. Delete. Make sure to delete this main camera. And uh, check the ceiling. So now, if we play the game. God, sorry. Make sure that your guy is fully off the floor. You see, you have a little part here. Make sure it's fully off the floor. So now, as you can see, you got the room, but it's it's all like fast and choppy, and he's moving too fast. You know, it's, we, we don't want that. We don't want that really. Um, that that fast. Uh, Whatever, that fast camera looks so sensitivity. So we're gonna go to mouse look script and we're gonna change sensitive sensitivity from 15 to let's say 5. So now it's not a big deal. 
All right. Now for movement, we change the speed to three. Sideways. It depends. I don't want my guy to go sideways. You can go backwards. Um, jumping. It's up to you. Uh, okay, sure. He can jump. Um, moving platform. Uh, all right. Let me deactivate sliding. That's all we need. So click on game. Click space. It opens up the full kind of full screen. And right now, key player are not very. Oh, sorry guys. Um, don't disable sliding. Actually, I think I did something wrong here. Uh, try putting this to three two. All right. Alright, so, okay, this is good enough. Maybe we can make the light a little bit more like that. Alright, so make light around 0.4. Um, next thing we want to do is let's see if we have time. So, next thing we actually want to do is we want to add a really quick flashlight so just uh just go to the the free 3d models.com and i just want to see if they have a flashlight because you know let's do flash light flashlight all right, so they, they do have a flashlight, so let's get it. So you want to download your flashlight. Download the flashlight models. Drag our flashlight in here. And whatever you want to save it and just drag your flashlight folder to Unity. Alright, or we can just do it like that. Um, in objects, that's how I call my folder. To make a new folder, you just go create folder. Alright, so. Where is it? All right, so let's bring out our flashlight. Does it already have textures? Yes, it does. All right, so we got a flashlight now. Now, now you see how this part here kind of like goes invisible. Um, to to get rid of that, you want to go to first person controller, main camera, change that to zero or point one. Okay. Oh, sorry. That's not the right one. So one. Right now, just leave it. Just leave it at one. And um, I 
Um, all right, I think that's good enough. You want to attach your flashlight to a camera. So as you can see, um, your flashlight with the camera. Now, in the next tutorial, um, I'll show you how to make this animation on flashlight. So you always like, you know, it always kind of like shakes, so it's more realistic. Because for now, it's just like fake. But last thing I want to do to make our flashlight perfect, I'm gonna create a spotlight. I'm bring it up. To negative ninety, zero Doesn't have to be perfectly at the flashlight because you know you want to stick that to your flashlight or actually to your camera. So now you got a flashlight and you're in a weird room. Let's not forget to add our ceiling. So it kind of gives it more creepiness. And all right. The next tutorial, we will be getting rid of this annoying mouse, adding a little animation to the flashlight, and adding a door, and maybe some other stuff. So please sub to my channel, Boris Media Prods. Thank you for watching. Sub, and see you guys.